what is up guys James here from the light of Raiga YouTube channel and in this video we're gonna be doing a weekly reading for the week of September 3rd through the 9th this is gonna be a three card reading and it's gonna let us know what we need to know in order to proceed with this week in the best possible way uh, we are finally uh, I think it'll be on Tuesday we are finally getting rid of this mercury retrograde energy I don't know about you guys, but it's been a little bit stressful for me, but uh, I'm glad to be doing away with it, <laughs> to be honest with you. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what is in store for us in this upcoming week. And I'm going to be using the Modern Spellcaster's Tarot. And I'm going to ask it the question, what do we need to know about the upcoming week, September 3rd through the 9th, 2017? So give me a moment to center myself and get these cards set up. to do it just a couple more shuffles all right here we go three cards one two and three all right let's see what this week has in store for us the first card we're gonna look at is this one And we have the Seven of Pentacles. Sorry, I'm a, I'm a perfectionist. I gotta get these cards just right. <laughs> okay, here we go. Seven of Pentacles, all right. Hmm, okay. The first thing I'm getting from this card is that uh, a lot of us are going to see some rewards coming this week, but they might not be exactly what we expect. And it might not come with the speed in which we hope they will come. I think this card is saying that um, you will be rewarded for your hard efforts. Uh, any work that you put in will be rewarded. It's just not going to come exactly in the way or when you expect it to. And I think that's what the message of this card is, is that this week uh, you will see some, some benefits from all the hard work you put in, whether it's at work or with your family and friends and your relationships, or if it's your spirituality. Um, you got to remember that anything worth having takes time and it takes it's a progression and you build on the day before and you build on the day after and you just keep building until you have something that nothing just pops up overnight well some some things do okay but uh, anything worth having is going to be a process and I think that's what this card is suggesting is that um, yes you will feel like you need to be recuperated for the effort or the energy that you put in and the universe knows this and it's it agrees with you but uh, it has different ideas about how this is going to go down and that's the the gist i'm getting from this card the vibe i'm getting is that um, just keep watering those plants and that plants will grow that's a perfect analogy right uh you want a plant to grow you, it's not gonna just appear overnight unless you got like magic beans or something <laughs> okay you're gonna have to keep watering it and watering it and watering it and nurturing it and giving it sunshine and keeping the animals away and it, it takes a lot of work but one day you've got a, a tree that bears fruit and that tree will support you in life and it was worth you know it took the 20 years to grow but uh when that 20 years is over or past then finally get some apples does that analogy make any sense? I think it does, okay? All right, let's see what the next card has to say. Oh. We got us a six of wands. All right, I'm seeing some opportunities this week for leadership uh, potentials. And uh, I think... Um, a lot of people may be looking up to you this week, or this might be a week for you to um, garner the attention of others in a very positive way. And whenever we step into leadership positions, it's always best to remember that uh, you've just taken on a huge responsibility, not just for yourself, not just for the others, but you know, people are going to be modeling their lives after you to some degree. And uh, you know, that's a lot of pressure, of course, but the only thing that you have to do or remember is to live your life 
in the best possible way you can, in the highest possible vibration, and everything else will take care of itself. And so, all the more reason to make sure that you're living a life of authenticity this week. Make sure you are doing things that are in alignment with your highest good and the highest good of the planet and the, the galaxy. And uh, I think you'll find that if that those things are true, I think a lot of leadership positions or potentials will open up for you this week. Maybe not a lot, maybe one, but you know, how many, how many leadership uh, positions do you really need? Uh, so definitely people are going to be looking up for, to you this month or this week, excuse me. So um, keep that in mind and make sure that you're setting a great example for these people. Uh, you don't necessarily have to change who you are to be a good leader. You just have to make sure that you're living a, an authentic life, basically. That's what I think anyway. All right, this last card is the Knight of Swords. Ooh. All right, so definitely feeling as though you're going to have an urge or a need or an opportunity to really express yourself this week. Um, Self-expression is definitely kind of a theme running here a little bit. Uh, so I do see your, your words getting put into action, put into motion, and uh, people definitely adhering to them or listening to them or... Um, Basically, looking at these cards as a whole, I'm getting the sense here that there's going to be a focus of attention on you this week. I think a lot of people are going to turn their heads in your direction. Um, they're going to see the hard work that you've put in and the successes that you have. They're going to see that you're living an authentic life. They're going to hear that your message is one of um, altruism, is one of benevolence, is one of good sound logic. And I think they're going to start to listen to you. And people are going to be listening to you and looking up to you this week. This is a week for you to take control. You know, the energies are swirling. Everyone's coming out of the Mercury retrograde. We don't know where we're at. You know, people even sub... If they don't know about Mercury retrograde or if they're, they're not sensitive to energy, then they're probably just unconsciously um, confused right now. They're not really sure why they're confused. They're not really sure why, you know, communication is broken down so severely. Uh, but this week is going to be a chance for you to pull others out of that funk and show them the path, uh, the, show them uh, the way to communicate, the way to lead, the way to um, take things slowly but still never stop putting in work and putting in energy. So that's going to be the theme for this week and I, I think that's a great one. You know, you're in a position now to, to show people a better way. And I think that opportunity is going to arise this week. And I think you should jump onto it because you're at the leading edge. You are the, uh, the avant-garde of um, the next step in evolution. And we need to lead these people to the, to the right place. Um, and all we have to do really is just shine our light and make sure we're living an authentic life. And we will be beacons in the darkness. And... That is what you're being called upon to do this week. So do not back down. The universe needs you. <laughs> All right. All right. That is the weekly re reading for September 3rd through the 9th. I hope you guys enjoyed that and uh, got something out of it. Uh, if you like this video, please consider giving it a like. Click that little like button. It lets me know that uh, you enjoyed it, got something out of it. It was beneficial in some way. Uh, if you have any comments, questions, anything you want to say about this reading, put those in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you guys, as always. And if you really enjoy this video, please consider subscribing. I release a weekly reading every Sunday, and you don't want to miss out on those because they're a lot of fun and very, well, if you like this video, they're all like it, like this one, sort of. <laughs> all right, that's going to do it for me. I hope you guys have a beautiful week. Congratulations on coming out of this weird energetic period that we're in now and i think things are going to start transitioning so a lot to look forward to on the horizon all right guys leave a like if you enjoyed this happy tarot ring peace